Hey, I'm Eric Triplett, the Pondiger. Today we're in Chula Vista, California, where I've located a goldfish specialist. His name is Nimit Arunsakul, and his business is called Coast Gem USA. Let's go inside and check out some amazing goldfish. Nimit, thank you for having us today. I am uh, so excited to expose our, our viewer base to fancy goldfish, and that's why I tracked you down. Can you tell us a little bit about your business? Yes, we are a direct importer of fancy goldfish from Thailand and from China. And we've been doing this for ten, anywhere between 10 years. 10 years? Uh, but your, your father's been into goldfish a long time, right? Yes, yes. He's been, um, there is, he's been a goldfish hobbyist since he was a kid. No kidding. Yes. Cool. Um, so can you give us, is that like two decades, three, four decades? How, how old is your father? Can you tell us? My father is 68 right now. 68? He's been doing, he's so he, been in the hobby ever since maybe six, seven years old. He used to play with beta fish and grow them out of clay pots, and then anywhere, and also it was goldfish as well. So we have a big history with this, and this is fantastic. So you've been professionally importing these goldfish for 10 years, and you offer them wholesale across the country and yes. everything, right? Yes, Fantastic. Well, uh, you know, a lot of people keep goldfish in aquariums, and um, but also with in ponds is, is our main focus today. I want to talk about how they correlate and in, um, into ponds and how they're being raised in ponds in China and Thailand, right? Yes, yes. So let's let's kick start off with like the most popular selling goldfish when someone buys a pond and they come into your place of business to say, I have a new pond, where where do you go to first? Yes, most of the customers go with butterfly telescopes. They're top view fish. They have patterns at the top and then they just look um, you could see the butterfly pattern. And that's why they call them a butterfly tail. Right, their tails are gorgeous. And they're very beautiful from above. You know, of, of course, koi fish, not, do, not too many people keep koi in a, an aquarium. Some people do, but most of the time they're, they're designed to look beautiful from above. Correct. And the interesting thing about goldfish is you kind of have a mix. You know, you have beautiful ones that look from side view and the beautiful top view ones as yes, well, right? Yes, that's true. So, uh, is this this is a telescope, right? Yes, that's what they call them a telescope eye because they have the very round, bulgy eyes. Right. So that's why they call them a telescope eye. And then what makes them difference between there's two versions of a telescope. There is a regular fan tail, and then they have so what they have is what they call a butterfly tail. The butterfly tail it looks like a a butterfly wing spread out, and that's right. why they call them a butterfly. So the tail is more more spread out and you know more more prettier from the He's on, uh, from, from the, the top. top. Telescope eyes are one of my one of my personal favorites because the way the body is, and then the way what makes the telescope beautiful is that the tail is very. It has a pattern on the tail. It's very similar to a butterfly tail, as you can see right here, and that's what makes it unique, as well as having the larger eyes and then a beautiful top view, as well. But as you can see, there's different patterns on the. Every butterfly tail has very different patterns as well as well as the different um, different types of tails for the butterfly. That's what makes all butterflies unique is that the very different type of tail types. They very look they all resemble a butterfly tail, but there's very different patterns as in the way that they're spread out. As you can see here, this one's more more wider and then it has a split tail right here. This one has a more pointed pointed look very white um, but that's what makes you goldfish all goldfish unique is that the the color pattern the color the body shape and the pattern is what makes all goldfish unique and every no gold, no two goldfishes are alike I usually don't recommend people mix goldfish and koi in the same pond. Yes. You, of course, do the same, correct? Yes, I would yeah. tell the customers to separate them, especially with the telescope eye, because koi fish tend to sometimes nip on certain body parts, as like, well like as a quick the bulging way, eye. Yes, as well as the way they swim. They're very slow swimmers, opposed to a koi fish. Mm -hmm. Very hard to compete for the food. They're very delicate, and they're just gorgeous in their own way. Yes. And so I find a lot of hobbyists when they first get started and they build their pond for the first time, but they have it professionally built. They um, they want they want to buy everything, right? They want koi. Yes. They want what else can we mix in there? Goldfish is an obvious one. Yes. So I usually I, I don't put my foot down with with them when they're first starting out, mm -hmm. unless they're doing with the, like the big bubbly eyes or yes. the you know. Yes. But uh, as as they mature, they either you know dive heavier into goldfish or dive heavier into to koi because. At some point, they know they have to separate them. Correct. Yeah.